quick video on what the difference is between the new LMI multifunction valve and the old three function valve and the bits you need in order to, to put one of these on an existing old pump. So this is a, a, a normal a pump, the old LMIs. I know they look old because they're just some of our used and abused models. Um, but what you've got here is that you'd have a suction valve, this is the head block, and then you'd have a three function valve. Um, but as you can see, this little puppy here, this is how they come, it requires um, a valve, to, a connection to something like, like this, for example. Um, so if you've got an old pump, the way you make this, fit on there is that this is obviously the bit you're replacing because it's faulty so you'd biff that away you'd need to get what we call a valve housing which is this little guy here that goes on the top and the reason you need that is because that now means this can connect to it and away you go so what you'd need in order to um, if you had an existing LMI pump and it had one of these on it a three function valve or a four function valve and you see, can I have a replacement one of these? You'd need these two things. You'd need a valve housing, which is that black thing there, and of course the multifunction valve. That's for an old LMI pump. But with the new LMI pump, the AD and the um, B PD uh, series, see the difference? This here's the head block, again, suction, suction, head block, head block. But see this discharge? This little thing here, that's called a prime, um, uh, fast prime. Function. And so what that does is that when you open this up, you end up um, basically doing what the three-function valve used to do with that black knob, is that you could prime the pump um, by using the fast prime valve. So what they've done now in LMI is they've basically taken this function and built it into the head so you don't need that anymore. But people want to have back pressure and um, pressure relief and depressurization of the line and, and that sort of stuff, that's when they add this to the pump. Um, and of course, if you get the newer versions, which the, this is what we sell now because these are the old versions, this comes with the valve on it, that valve there. So if you said to me, I've got a new pump <clears throat> and I would just need uh, like a, a valve, a full function or three function, we would give you the multifunction valve. And that, because the valve's already on it, See there, it just connects straight away, and happy days, you're all good. Of course, you'd screw it down properly, but for the sake of the video, to make things faster. So yeah, that's to explain, basically, if you've got an old pump, you need two things. You need a valve housing, which is this guy here. A valve housing, it obviously comes with an O-ring, and of course, the multifunction valve, and now this will connect to this. If you've got a newer model, which is the AD and the PD models, it'll come with that um, valve housing. So all you need is the multi-function valve. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously, give us a call at Liquipro. Um, otherwise, happy days.